and welcome to another episode of Comedy Mainline, you comedy mainline acts. I'm your, uh, I don't want to do that one again. Uh, I mean, we can keep this rolling, but I think that's the last time I'm going to try to use that to refer to I thought that was pretty uh, good. Fans. Is that the first one you yeah. ever, did you use that? The Mc- comedy mainline acts? Main yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it just occurred to me now, you know. That's fantastic. Some would, some would call it a gift, some would call it autism, uh, but that's what I went with. <laughs> Uh, the other voice you're listening to, you probably know it by now. If you're a main line so. act, that's my co-host Steve Gillespie. Yeah, that's me. What's up, everybody? Thanks for having me, uh, Robert. Then I I can't help but have you. Me. You're the you're the co-host. You say that like you're a guest, Steve. You I you know. co-host the show. You don't need to say thanks for having. I want you to take the reins. Uh, yeah, no, I that was I, I thought I that mean, was the. On everything. I want you to take over the entire podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you're doing good? You're doing good? How's Denver? How's life? Oh, it's fine. It's awful smoky here. I keep waking up with headaches and, uh, yeah, air quality. Really bad. Not good. Uh, we're all going to die. But, hey, let's do a podcast. Yeah. I mean, that's that's all we're going to have when we're just confined to bunkers and it's all fire and uh bears and stuff roaming around and we're all what's that cloverfield movie where everyone's just living in the cellar that's when podcasts are really you think they're big now just wait till no one can go outside anymore is that the one with john goodman yeah and he gets really angry at board games i could get angry at a board game i in absolutely a post-apocalyptic yeah. uh framework for sure uh, yeah no i could i could definitely see that yeah. uh so yeah i Kate mean sex I, too if you're stuck with john bunker, goodman well <laughs> anyone really yeah, yeah, whoever you're stuck in a bunker with, it's gonna get weird down there. I bet. Probably pretty quick. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna Within need to 10 mix to it up. Fifteen minutes of uh, when the well, that's pro- I don't know about off. that. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you meant like ten minutes into the cellar. Like you're yeah, still like I mean. panicking and trying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Leave a note. It's getting weird right away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, uh, we're down let's... here. Uh, we're trapped. Uh, we have yeah. all these ropes and uh, whips and stuff for some reason. <laughs> that that would be your bunker. No food, no beans. It's just all it's just all sex toys and Grateful Dead posters and the practicality of surviving for very long with your rations. Uh, we got we got some Molly. Uh, we got some tie dye shirts. Uh, we have a vinyl record player, uh, and that's it. We have we have we have no food. Uh, <laughs> and we have phone lines. Let's turn those phone lines on, bud. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. You, you. The switch is right by you. The phones are by you. Can you tell me uh, again where that switch is? What side of this, it is it on for me? Uh, I well, I don't know which. You're way looking right you're at facing. me, Robert. I would, Oh, I am. Never. Okay. This. Uh, yes, I'm looking right at you. So the switch is on the uh, left, I believe. Left side. Okay. There you go. Left there side. Is. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, I hope that's that the switch. switch. Otherwise, God knows what you're turning on right now. Flip that switch. Oh yeah, that was that okay. Was switch. There, call, that's, that, oh, Dude, that's that didn't take long line. at all. Yeah. Go ahead and pick that up, Steve. If you just want to. I'm gonna make him grab wait. that. I'm that's, gonna make him oh, wait a couple rings. That's a it's a really shrill noise though. I mean, I, know, I feel I don't like, it's, like it's desperate, easier than desperately taking calls. You know. Oh, I, I understand that. I'm just just kind of an assault right, on the go. ears. We should really change that. Hello. Hello. Tommy wang Hainline. bang dangle. Oh, that's oh, right. oh shit! Oh, there he is. <laughs> Chris Bad. <Banner. laughs> it's the old I, Mad Dogger. I tell you, it's hotter than. Two June bugs on a Mississippi Thursday. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's I think so. Pretty, that's pretty hot, man. That's pretty hot. How are yes. You, how are you handling the heat? What are you doing to cool what, yourself? Are off? you asking me what do I do to beat the heat? Yeah. <laughs> like a how do you, how do you beat your heat? How do you beat your heat, uh, country music legend? <laughs> that's such. I love when every morning show asks people that. I was always wanted to be asked how I beat the heat. Yeah. No how do you beat that heat, me. buddy? Uh, sometimes I go down to the swimming hole. <laughs> Woo! Ling <laughs> bong, ding a dang. Yeah. Man, the music legend's fired up today. Yeah. Well, so that phone was ringing for a long time. Yeah. It's the main line, right? Yeah, one line. I have the number to the main. Like, there's one. One main line. Yep. Okay. I mean, we have other we have other lines too. Main line is more of you know, it's just like oh, an attention grabbing title. Because if it was like right. comedy multiple lines, I just feel like it lacks that you know pizzazz where people well anyone can multiple call in. Multiple lines, yeah. Yeah, it's, 
I mean, this yeah. isn't a fundraiser for Christ's sake. We're not trying to fight muscular dystrophy or anything. We got George Went from we, Cheers we manning got the, the phones. comics behind like... us manning the phones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of our, <laughs> we... our comics will answer and help you with your premises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got David Harris on line four. Feel free to hit him up over. Or oh, we got Jeff Fozer on line six over there. He's willing to help you out. Wow, Linda yeah. Aarons. We got some women on. It's just not just men. We got Linda Aarons that'll help you out. This definitely <laughs> is a public station lineup then, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naming all local people. This is people. all we could get. This is who we could get, and uh, you'll have to just deal. This is this is PBS, <laughs> folks. So. Hey, well, Robert, thanks for having Steve, man. <laughs> you um, know, it was a hard get. It's a hard get. It's uh, he Ever since he had that album come out, that uh, nearly toppled Bo Burnham, or maybe it did for a while. I no, wasn't I watching I nonstop, I, uh, yeah, but I ever ever since then, he's he's he'll the same way he made you wait, he'll make me wait. When I yeah. not even for the podcast, what's that just album called call again? Stuff. It's called Liminal Bliss. Yeah. So, do you have something that you wanted to work on, Chris? Yeah, you called into oh. the show. What's up, buddy? Oh yeah, that's right. You guys are kind of dipping out here. I mean, um, hope that doesn't continue. First of all, can I just throw something in? I, I heard you guys talking about uh, bunkers. Oh yeah, and uh, yep. you know Steve's beanless sex bunker, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, I had, and uh, I was so there's these, you know, there's like people who um, build like luxury bunkers for when the apocalypse comes to okay, sell yeah. to the ultra rich. Oh wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Smart. And I just always thought that was such a, a funny um, idea because, like, what good is money going to be when the world is destroyed by nuclear holocaust? Sure. Yeah, it's a real long investment. That's really playing the long game, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I actually had a an, an, uh, uh, premise. Uh, so there was uh, – um, I know everyone reads the Guinness Book of World Records still. Oh, yeah. Nightly. And, uh, Hard copy. Um, there, there's a guy in there who they said he's. It says the first guy to eat a whole car. Holy shit! He's, so he did it over time, obviously mm-hmm. not in just like a day, but he, little by little he ate like this whole car. And uh, so the whole thing, like tight. We're talking tires. We're talking uh, the entire engine. We're talking the fucking alternator, muffler. <laughs> windshield wipers you've already answered you already asked way more questions about this than i have i just took it on (laughs) face value (laughs) this guy ate a car and i'm good with that (laughs) you're right though i should be more inquisitive about such claims (laughs) 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 this guy walked to the moon oh no shit who'd have thought that that could (laughs) oh my god i'm gonna say that on a program (laughs) well I'll look into that, but maybe that's part of the joke, I think. Um, <laughs> but if he ate a whole car, who would want to be the second guy to eat a whole car? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Is, yep. is anyone else, like, can't we just call that guy the only guy who will ever eat a whole car? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it, how many how many world records like that? Are, are like that where it was just like well, there's there's there isn't really a world record because they're the only fucking person that's even tried to do it and did it you know what i mean i feel like that's well, half the book at least we don't know that like i feel sorry for the sad sack who made it like three doors into eating a car before he found out someone else beat him to it and then he's like well what the fuck am i gonna do i finish eating the car i'm this far like yeah. I, what am I just gonna do? What am I gonna do with a quarter of a car? This is bullshit. I'm gonna eat this, but fuck, fuck that guy. That's like, well, yeah. it, it, or you know how we're all our own worst critic, and so yeah. like, yeah, I'm only the second guy to eat a whole car. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, he's, just, he's just pouting at the bar, you know. And people come up to him, "Hey, man, didn't you? Aren't you? The, are you the guy that ate the whole car?" <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, "Well, the second guy that ate the whole car." That jerk Bob Stiegelman beat me to it. <laughs> no, there's shots, please. Or there's a guy that's like in the process of eating a truck and bragging about it. And someone's like, "Yeah, but the guy ate a car." Well, trucks are di- trucks aren't cars. Yeah, 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 but it's still the same idea. You're just eating a motor yeah. vehicle. Yeah, truck's bigger. Truck, truck, four wheel drive. Yeah. It's it's different. It's it's. I I can see how an idiot might think I'm doing the same stupid thing someone else already did, but this is better. Yeah. Does he just does he wear? Does he use a napkin? That seems I was a little. Yeah, too. He's got a bib on. Like, 
<laughs> di di dipping a door handle into transmission fluid. <laughs> He's still under the car. He's still under the car like a mechanic, though. It's just every time he slides back out, he's just eating another part. <laughs> no, yeah, no, he's, he's got uh... like... He's got his he son a... handing him tools to like <laughs> unconnect more, disconnect more parts to eat. <laughs> to eat. He's, no, yeah, he was like a he's a failed mechanic. <laughs> How's it looking under there? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, yeah, people come to you're supposed to fucking fix their car. <laughs> they come he's... to pick up their car. And like the fucking this... tire's gone, and he's got yeah, yeah. he's got yeah, he transmission out... fluid uh, coming like on his cheek, on his chin. <laughs> every every oil change is just adding vegetable oil so he can cram the rest of the uh, alternator down his throat. How does he it's... digest this shit? I mean, that's why he has to do it so slow, right? So you're not even really yeah. eating it. You're just like putting it in your body and then shitting it out painfully. Gives new meaning to whoa, slow down there. <laughs> what if he, like just like he's doing it elegantly, like he's got like a suit on with like a knife and a fork, and he's just like you know yeah. cutting into the radiator. Yeah, Vivaldi's playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what wine the, uh, pairs best with the uh, automatic door lock? I'm just curious. <laughs> hey, this car, this car's no good. It's a real lemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love oh, it. I love that see, premise. See, there is there is a joke there. I'm doing it. You are Thanks, doing guys. it. You're fucking Once again. That's the whole point of the main line. Yeah, the main line. Once again, yes. I'm so glad... I called in from the same room. Yeah. You are a comedy mainline all-star, Chris. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> please, know. please, just call me a mainline <laughs> Yeah, you are, if... you are the top mainline. You're the maniac, maniac, I don't know, the craziest of all the mainline Co Comedy <laughs> mainline all-stars just makes it seem like we have this, like, softball team for like oh i can't wait you to know that we assemble thing. for yeah yeah to, to to play just the the regular normal loser listeners to the show <laughs> yeah, like yeah. oh you have to face the comedy it's, it's sam talents in left field uh <laughs> mike lester shortstop oh uh, you know just uh, like <laughs> and we'd, Jace, we'd start running we'd, jace jet ski we'd run the jace jet ski. <laughs> short yeah, and on the mound, a... Johnny Evenkeel, bases loaded, <laughs> down, up by one, four, three balls, counts three and two. D doesn't phase him at all. He's no. falling asleep up there. Yeah, <laughs> it is slow pitch after all. <laughs> <laughs> So hey Chris, uh, now that we have you on the lines and you're you're in the house with us, you're just down the down the alleyway of the cubicles. Is that what they call it? I have no idea. The corridor. I don't know. And we've, had, uh, we've established office. three different setups for what's taking place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we, we're wacky, man. Like we, are we play softball, wacky. we start, we go the third base to second to first because we're just out there, man. It's like watching, <laughs> like it's like watching level one, like intro to improv, where someone's set up that, like, hey, we're in space right now, and then someone just runs in. It's like, no, it's the jungle, and you're a bear, and my name is Pete, and now we're in a hot air balloon. You're like, we gotta, we gotta just commit to something, and I guys. Have a gun. <laughs> and I have a gun. Well, I have. A gun catcher. What the fuck's a gun catcher? It doesn't matter. We're all carrots now. Like, what the fuck? Uh, that's that's what kids do. I shot you. No, no. <laughs> hey, let's take some calls, huh? You guys want to take some calls? Let's, yeah, I think you're about to ask yeah. me to stay on. I accept. Let's do it. Yeah, all right. Here we go. We're taking calls. I hope uh, I hope our callers are ready. I hope that people are calling in. So here we go. Uh, and here we go. Go ahead. Turn on the... Uh, tur turn... The, the, there we oh, go. Holy shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Didn't take long. Oh, yeah. It's an in demand oh. line. Oh, yeah. It's a very in demand <laughs> main right, line. Let's do it. Here, let's answer it. <clears throat> well, why do you just. just uh, what, <clears throat> us. You can just pick it up, Steve. It's right there. Co you go. Comedy main line. This is Steve and Robert and the legendary Chris Maddock. How can we help you today? Hello. 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 Uh, yes. Hello. You've, you've reached hello. the comedy main line. This is Steve Will SB Show. Well, that's not that's the actually, title of the show. The, yeah, uh, it's he's... actually the comedy mainline. Is this? It's what? It, who's that voice? Hello. That, uh, Hello? Uh, uh, well, I'm Robert Burrell. This, this is this is Steve Gillespie, though. 
I'm, oh, I am Steve, one of the you, pe- I, I am one of the what? people on the call. Yeah. Why don't you feel Sorry. this call, Steve? Sorry, it I'm seems like trouble. he's the. Uh... I'm having trouble breathing because I'm so excited to be on the Steve Gillespie show. Oh wow! It looks Steve like I got a Gillespie. fan here, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to ask you a question about um, liminal bliss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. What, you, what does it mean? Uh, liminal bliss. It, uh, it, do you know the the, the uh, definition of the word liminal? I know subliminal. Yeah, I think that was the question, Steve. He doesn't know what it means, and so right, well, he was, I'm looking at, it up. He was asking you. <laughs> that's. I mean, you have to anticipate questions like this when you pick a word no one's ever heard of in your uh, it's uh, a, album it's a, title. It's a tra- transitional and initial stage of a process. It is a uh, liminal space. Is a space where a lot of people are like moving through. And the I reason why it. I called all right, my album that is that I feel like I am in a constant liminal space. I'm in a constant liminal state in between uh, places uh, A and B, if that makes any that's sense. That's how we feel about you. Is it? Oh, well, that's, that's nice. We all feel that. We all do. I don't know if Chris and Robert feel that way, well, but it's not. And what is, what is your name, that. sir? What it, it, I don't want to say my name. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh, interesting. I, all right. Well, yeah. that's that's fine. We're not going to, we're not an essay or anything. You don't have to but it's just nice to be in a room just alone with me and Steve Gillespie. Well, that's not Wait, like nobody else. I mean that... Okay. So, uh, are, are you, Robert, in a, have you call. been in a room you... alone with Steve? I I'm in a room alone with him right now. Okay. That's, that's I think you're confused. Uh, caller. I, I may, I mean, do you feel like you like, uh, in a, like, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, like I mean, a, in a physical sense. You, in a physical I'm sense. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think. You're, oh, you okay? I, I, so you're in the room. I'm, I'm looking around. Man. I don't see you anywhere. I mean, I'm in my corner office. I don't see you anywhere in here. I don't. This might be the wrong house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sounds. Sounds Wisconsin? like you have a really dedicated fan, Steve. Yeah. Are oh, you wow. in Wisconsin? I'm not. Or at your Denver house. Oh, I am in Denver, Colorado, right now. Yeah. I'm in the Wisconsin oh. house. You're in a Wisconsin house. I did live oh, in Wisconsin you... for a while. Are you? That's that's very impressive that you he know knew you lived where in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin that's you a, are. That's a you really dedicated Wisconsin? fan. Yeah, it's the Gillespie house in goddamn Wisconsin. <laughs> I came all the way here to see you, Steve. Oh wow! To be in the room with you. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I don't wow. know who that this... other goddamn voice is in there, but I called to be on the Steve Gillespie show. Not the goddamn Steve Gillespie and whoever the hell else that dumb son of a bitch who's talking is. I think he's talking about you, Robert. I think he is. Yeah. No, that's, I mean, this, you can take that. That you voice, can... whatever that one is. Nope. Shut yeah. it off. Sorry. Sorry, man. Oh, Sorry. Kinda, he doesn't know. like you, Robert. Yeah. I think you're going to, I think you're going to have to take the reins on this interview, Steve. Little he's he's all about you. I think he called 13. you a dumb little bitch, Robert. 13 tracks. Which is, which is, honestly, <laughs> he knows a lot about <laughs> your <laughs> album. Thirteen track. I know what Steve's saying. I know what he's always saying. Thirteen tracks, three, three and thirteen. That's divinity. That is liminal. He's a healer. He healed us all from the Steve fever, and now it's all gone. And now wow. we're all healthy, and he How? healed us. And that's How? why I came to his house to pay him respect, so that we can go on the road together and we can be comedians together. Oh wow! So you're a comedian as well. I, this is great. I haven't had a fan uh, that has been this crazy about me before. It feels I, I, I'm enjoying it to be honest. You might be. I don't know. This guy sounds a little unstable. Steve. I think I knew you were going to be what? jealous about something like this, Robert. I'm not I knew jealous. That this was going to happen not someday. I'm there was going to be a big about... fan that was going to call in, and you weren't going to be. Oh yeah, uh, no fan has ever killed the celebrity that they've been a fan of, Steve. That's certainly never happened to. John Lennon no. or Selena or uh, other musicians. Selena, that's nice. Thank you. Robert. Yeah, Liminal I think Bliss, thirteen tracks. Steve Gillespie, thirty-three years old. The women he dates, thirteen years old. Three, <laughs> three, three. <laughs> it's divinity. A lot of threes. A lot of threes. Yeah. He also has a three-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, I didn't don't even, even think know Steve that. knows that. <laughs> I didn't even know he that. Needs a That's... <laughs> oh wow! That's crazy. 
Wow. Boy, I, spot I really on. am excited to... I, Robert, what do you think? I think I should bring this guy on the road. I, I haven't had a I don't. I feel this. like that I road trip it. was going to end with your head being found in I a drainage ditch. I knew you wouldn't be able to accept this, the Robert. Sec- I'm it. worried about your safety. You don't watch as much true crime as I do, Steve. This guy sounds a uh, little unstable. No, he's he he understands the power of my comedy. He understands that my po- my comedy is healing. He gets it, Robert. Chris, what do you think? Am I wrong? Am I off? Am I off? What do, what do you Steve? think, Chris? Steve? Yeah. I think this guy might be a real mainliniac. He's like, he is. For real. That oh. doesn't help. Do that love... doesn't help. You know what, Chris? Thank you for being I concerned for me. Listening. I really appreciate your concern. Maybe I will think twice about going on the road with this guy. Well, is there any. Well, do you have any. Because we'll be one soon anyway. Oh, are there are there any you bits don't even you know want to work name. on? Are there are there any bits you want to work on, Steve's uh, Steve's fan, Steve obsessed fan? Let's just call him Big Roy. I like Big, Big Roy. Roy. Yeah. Big Roy. Big Roy. You, any bits you'd like to work on? Yeah, just a, a bit I got about a skinny, skinny little man, skinny man. <laughs> okay, and Steve. He's got sunken is... cheeks. Can't <laughs> so far, too good. Two for two. And then you you grab him on his throat and you grab his little chest and you squeeze and squeeze until you're just the same damn guy. <laughs> so well, I an see interesting now, bit. That's an interesting bit. I mean, I, I think that's almost like perfect. It. I don't, <laughs> I don't work on this bit with it. You know what? I've changed my mind, Steve. I think I think you should go on the road with this guy. Well, I, I mean think... that, that bit's got some potential for sure. I, uh, you know, I, I don't. It might. It's be... got lots of potential. <laughs> it sounds like Big Roy's <laughs> been working on this bit for a while. Yeah, yeah. It really does. I think just oh, give him your address and be in a long time. So, Big Roy, what are some of your time. what are some of your hobbies? I find you fascinating. I don't know. If, I, know I know Robert's not uh, as fascinating worried. as he finds you. What are some of your favorite hobbies, Big Roy? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm just excitable. <laughs> I'm my mostly. It used to be just listening to Steve or Fever, and yeah. then I heard the Monkey Jim, and I know what that means. I know what you're trying to say. Monkey Jim means you know what, and it's going to start the race war, and it's going to kick it off, and. And I'll be ready. And now I'm getting ready. Exactly. Um, for liminal bliss. It's a, I, exactly. It is really nice to finally be able to reach uh, somebody that really understands the underlying meaning of my bits. Everyone the race knows was starting race. monkey gym. Yeah. <laughs> what is that's this? What a about? monkey gym? As in the whole world? Is this gym a monkey gym? This world? <laughs> and it's time for it to stop. Yes. Yes. Well, I think he. Absolutely. I think he. I think he's got you pegged, Steve. I, I had a yeah. different take on that. You had a different. Oh, take? on Monkey Jim. What's you your yeah. take? What's no, your... mine sounds stupid now. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to share it with us, Chris? Well, I just thought it was a joke about your dad. I'm a, a real moron. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't expect everybody to get the nuances of my layered, deeply layered material, especially from my Idiot. first album when Idiot. I was 26 Idiot. years old. It all means so much. It takes a have... long time to it's a figure slow burn. it out. We should probably include a link to the Monkey Jim track on yeah. this uh, this episode on this Absolutely. episode, so people I can, can just listen do and it for you. Yeah. Why don't oh you, yeah. Why don't you, do you know? Us, goddamn Roy. Monkey Jim. What's this? Goddamn <laughs> Monkey Jim. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Is a monkey gym to you? All right. That, all. Yeah, I that, mean that's that was pretty much that's word all. for word. That's basically <laughs> Steve's calling, delivery. Roy. That's pretty much. Yeah. Thanks, man. This I, guy is a well, huge he fan. Says, he says people at the end. He says <laughs> monkey gym people. <laughs> huh? You gonna get that people? He always <laughs> says people because he's trying to talk to me. <laughs> You're people. You're. I'm yes. a person. Yes, so you are, Big Roy. People, I know that he's talking to me. Okay. Well, thank you All for right. calling, yeah, Big Roy. Thank you for calling, That's... Big Wow, that was a call and a half, huh, friends? That was fun. He's going to hang up and listen, he said. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's listening right now. Yeah, he's listening, yeah. watching. Yeah, God, you can really he's feel for sure him watching. Listening. Yeah, you know, you can, can just sense him. Yeah. You can just sense him. I mean, I just hope someday that you guys get fans like that. You know what I mean? It just makes you feel really appreciated for the art that you put out. I like it a lot. Yeah, I mean, he did a, he did such a deep dive. So I'm not even sure I'm I'm familiar with the monkey gym joke, Steve. That might have been before we started living together. Yeah, yeah, it was it was. I mean, it was really when I was really diving deep into uh, social just, commentary yeah, and race social war and, 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 and yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> subliminal sort, messages. <laughs> sort of sounds like your helter skelter. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This I went, guy could I went be the your other Manson. way with my career. This... I started out that way, and then now I've moved into. Uh... You've really toned down. Now, really? yeah, now I just do corporate games. <laughs> <laughs> it takes uh, a lot of comics years to work up to race war, and the fact that you, you know, right came out of, out of the gates with right it, of, yeah, it was one of my first bits that I worked on on uh, open mics. It was my race war bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Well, hey, Robbie, you got a, a, a really fun bit, don't you? I've heard. I got, yeah. I was, I, it's, <laughs> word on the street. It's it, rumor, the rumor's true about this new bit uh, oh, yeah. that, I've been, that I've been working on. Maybe yeah, this bit this will is, be the one that gets you a, uh, a, a big fan. Hopefully. I'm yeah. not sure if I'll be able to incite a race war with it. Um, yeah. But who knows? That's always the goal. Um, I was doing the Madison <laughs> Comedy Week. Uh, last week. Oh, the and Madison the, Comedy Week. One of the shows oh, I was, you know, I, I don't want to name drop a festival or anything, but, uh, wow. yeah, yeah. How was one it? One of the guys, one of the guys from one of the shows I did, uh, just a day or two ago, Venmoed me $30. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. Worth it? I'd say so. Nice. Uh, nice. there was hey, a I'm pamphlet. starting up the, the Super Spreader Comedy Festival. <laughs> Uh, still water still waters yeah <laughs> wherever uh sorry i'm actually i'm actually working on on my own comedy festival uh called me fest mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i just do 12 shows and it's it's just me uh hence the hence the title uh mm-hmm. me fest but i perform all over the same the same um uh, set actually okay but for for three hundred dollars you get the unlimited show pass uh and you can see every single show that rem- at, uh, that's awesome that me reminds fest. me of the my uh my festival it's called me in the same building fest and i do 13 different sets and you get for four hundred dollars you get uh access <laughs> Um, but I do it, and I do each set in a, a different corner and and space in the in the building. Nice. Do you do is is do you work monkey gym into the uh, oh, yeah. set list at oh, all? Oh yeah, I gotta get some more disciples. Yeah, <laughs> they'll just that that'll be your free bird. That's what they shout out when you're like you're doing some other bit, and they're just like monkey gym. <laughs> Uh, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey Jim in that corner of the building. Please. <laughs> so anyway, at one of the venues of this festival, yeah. uh, they had some pamphlets out there. And this was a pamphlet for uh, an organization. And I get what they were going for, but the wording uh, to me is is uh, there's some problems with it. Okay. And the wording on the front is it just said, uh, help and sex trafficking through job creation. And so my first thought was just, I don't think people uh, have become uh, sex slaves uh, because uh, they're lazy or because of unemployment. Like, I don't think yeah. that's how one, like, it just seems like a very Republican idea. Like, yeah. oh, I'll tell you why there's sex slavery. The welfare state benefits. People don't have yeah. to work. They stay at home. They want a 19-year-old prostitute. Yeah. Get out there and get a job. Socialism. That's why ladies mm-hmm. are taking dick for money. I thought it was. Uh, I, I thought it was because like they thought like like uh, I had, I had to offer myself up to slay to a, a sex slaver because <laughs> because I had no job. <laughs> like yeah. you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. sex slaves don't get paid. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, like like, pimps, like pimps just go door to door, and it's just like show me, show me your employment papers, and like what, what? Yeah. show me pay stubs. I don't have. Well, you're my hoe. Like, huh? You're on no, a schedule. I, yeah. 
You come with. You don't me. have to get to work later, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> want to uh, do my part. I want to keep the economy running like anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> After your shift. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I guess I was confused then when I read when you had sent this out earlier. You, uh, so we're talking about if it's sex trafficking, they're not, they're not actually making any money. They are, they are actually slaves. I'm not really familiar with the sex trafficking world, to be honest. I was thinking it was like, this is a way to like, they're, they're saying that prostitution is because there's not enough jobs. And that makes me think, cause it's like funny to me. Cause you know, they always say prostitution is the oldest, uh, job in the world. Right. And yeah, yeah. oldest profession, oldest, oldest profession old in the world. Yeah. So it's just like, so from the history of humankind, there just hasn't been enough jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Even from the get go. <laughs> yeah. The get go. It just has never been there. We just need to create more jobs from the start. Yeah, you need a, it's like, uh, or, you know, well, can I make $2,000 for an hour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. But they're, but they're not the one, those aren't the ones being sex trafficked, though. Yeah. No, just, and uh, you're right to a, highlight the difference, yeah. Yeah, there's a few enterprising, uh, uh, stunning women out there. Sure. Who have f- figured out a retirement plan. Um, yeah. But I think it's so the organization itself is it's it's women that have been trafficked that are out and they make crafts, they do projects. It like helps them ah. get back on their feet. But Got then it. it almost just sounds like, a, you know, if you don't buy these beads, we don't know what's going to be happening. <laughs> oh, again. Yeah. And it's like, wait, are you just going to? give her back to the trafficker yeah. if i don't buy yeah. this product like she's already out like mission accomplished but then it just seems like it's well al- it's almost this... like yeah go ahead sorry well it's just almost like you know if business goes bad here like not only is she losing this job but you know she'll be in some seedy motel in boise idaho mm-hmm. uh you know having to blow truckers for money she doesn't get like yeah what all right it... i mean i guess i'll buy the beads but I, this seems pretty extreme i feel like she could also just work at you know subway if this doesn't pan out since she's out of the grips of the traffickers now yeah what if it's the traffickers that are setting this all up too that they're just like if you don't <laughs> buy these products that we made i will put her right back <clears throat> In that case, you're either gonna bang these guys or make these beads. Either way, we're getting the profit. <laughs> yeah. Well, if they want it to work like anything in America, you need some good slogans, right? Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had a couple. Uh, oh, no jobs equals blowjobs. <laughs> 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 and uh, oh, dang it! What was the other one? Ah, I got to write everything down. Um, no jobs equals blowjobs. Ah. I said that one first because I thought the second one was funnier. Um, okay. I mean, the legend never has to write anything great. down. That's <laughs> the legend should write things down. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, uh, miners, not miners. <laughs> that was it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are great. Yeah, get them to work in the mining. Fa- <laughs> How'd you like to be a miner? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, those are great. That opens up a whole like a whole realm of just like quick punches I could do at the end for that. That's perfect, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Well, boys. Yeah, baby. That's boys. a another another well done comedy mainline joke session. Yeah, we, yep. we always knock it out of the park. Do you guys want to? We got knock we gotta, it out of the park. The park. We got a couple of minutes. Do you guys want to do? Uh, that couldn't have been more knocked out yeah. than if it called Evander Holyfield a pussy at his mom's funeral. <laughs> that was more knocked out than Lindsay Lohan after a party at the Angelina Jolie's <laughs> private island. <laughs> Oh, it started off so good. Uh, Here we go. Here we go. (laughs) Sit down, Chris. This couldn't be, that premise couldn't be more knocked out if it was Marilyn Manson. No, Marilyn, wait, let me start over. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> the old Dennis Miller start over. <laughs> you guys saw him live, right? You saw yeah. you saw the specials. This is how he does it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dennis Miller yeah. do over. <laughs> <laughs> this this premise couldn't be more knocked out if it was Marilyn Monroe's pussy after hanging out with uh, Frank Sinatra <laughs> and JFK in 1961. Uh, <laughs> just the year just the year itself oh man boy 1960 uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think I did it though I think that's the best one I've ever done you did it man that was that was a yep. breakthrough yep oh, you really. set a low bar but god damn it did you clear it Steve <laughs> this is how Dennis Miller's parents must have felt <laughs> <laughs> But he got his first one out. I was I was about to say that was probably like his first sentence. Like that was how Dennis Miller first learned to start talking was comparing yeah. stuff and then struggling to find the last thing to compare it to. His first word was a reference. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't wanted my mama's tit more than uh... <laughs> Steve, why would you go into another one? I don't know. Steve, don't, I just, don't go I, right back into the I just jaws. Got, I got too confident. <laughs> uh, this was great. Thanks for calling, Chris. Yeah, uh, yeah always thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for having Steve, Robert. A treat. Yeah, yeah, Steve. Thanks for you know being able to to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, no uh, as thanks co-host. for being part of your podcast. Steve. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for. Yeah, Stepping thank you up. Guys. <laughs> uh, all right, boys. All right. And now. Right now. Right now. Man, these dudes like writing. No need to be frightened. They just work. But hey, Chris, why don't you uh, why don't you stick on the lines with us? How, how do you feel about that? You want to stick on the lines? I'm sure we'll have another call come in. I think Robert's got to go to the bathroom or I think. I, I want to I want to stick on the lines. Stick on the line, bud. The main line. The main line. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go okay, real you go. bad. Um, oh. I'm gonna. I'm you gonna go, go then. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. It, it's cool. I can. Yeah. Do, I can. I mean, it, this isn't school and stuff. I just yeah, want to make ahead. sure that it's like. You having it? Okay. Uh, that, tinkle, all right. tinkle, Sweet. or a stinker? It's gonna be good. This is gonna be good. You know, uh, it it tinkle, but I always bring a book with me. All right, so Robert, you never we know. can we can uh, unlock our eyes now. Okay, one. To, oh, you Done. did it already. Okay. Done. Oh, well, sorry. Well, I, you know, I didn't. Once you gave me permission, I kind of averted him already. But this, <laughs> I, I love the idea that throughout all of this, we've just been staring right into each other's yeah, eyes. Uh, I'm sweating. Yeah, we have. It's Absolutely, we have. All I right. gotta go piss. Bye. Permission granted. All right. Now well, what do we do? Oh, holy shit. We got a call, is that, Chris. Is that the call. main? It sounds like the main line. It's the main line, bud. All right, Sweet. let me answer it. You should answer it. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Is that you, Robbie? Yeah, yeah, I thought of one <laughs> while awesome. I was in here. You got a you got a premise for us. Beautiful. Robert Burrill? You would be surprised. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, man. You'd be surprised how how often inspiration strikes when, when you have I'm your dick in the in bathroom. Your hand? <laughs> oh yeah pretty much that's like that's you know it's like picasso's paintbrush for me you know once i get that thing in my hand the jokes they come a flowing yep. yeah but we yeah we there's an artist behind that paintbrush <laughs> oh ab- absolutely it's not it's not just about the brush you know that's what gets the most attention <laughs> but it's the hand that guides it so what do you got for us bud uh so i uh i th- well, I I got the joke from I was watching an episode of uh, the show A Million Little Things, which is kind of like a knockoff of uh, This Is Us or whatever, uh, with uh, with the wife. And there was a guy on the show that said this line, and I know I I, I imagine it's not just this character that mm. says it, uh, but he's this dude that's he's cheated oh. on his wife a while back, and uh, they're breaking up, but he wants like equal custody of his kid. And he says, like, yes, or something like, you know, I I, I get that I was a, a bad husband, okay, but I'm a great, I, I failed my vows, I, I'm going way too long. But, like, the gist being, like, I wasn't a good husband, but I was a damn good father. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, well, yeah, because you weren't, like, seeing other kids 
You know, like that's not the problem. You weren't like cheating on your kids with other kids. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you weren't lying to your son and say, oh, I got to stay late at work. And then you play catch with a different 14 year old boy. <laughs> like, yeah, no, nothing's connected in this world. Everything's <laughs> everything's separate. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're yep. just like j- just treating the mom like garbage. Yeah, it doesn't affect <laughs> in the front kids. of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> and being like, what? I said we'd go to the movies. And I took him to the movies. Yeah, and, it, and I never say it the other way. It never goes around the other way. It's never like, you know, I wasn't a very good father, but I was a damn good husband. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was fine until you came along. <laughs> Look, I wasn't there for any of their birthdays, okay? But on your birthday, did I not take you out? <laughs> Right? We saw <laughs> Hamilton. Sure, I've never played catch with them or inspired them in any way, but uh, I go down on you for an hour on your birthday, and that counts for nothing? <laughs> nothing. This is why you're leaving me. Oh, yeah. that's great, Steve. That's so funny. That opens yeah. up a whole nother, like, rant yeah. avenue. <laughs> I was a horrible father. <laughs> I love that, but I was a damn but good I, husband. It, sure, I make my kid cry every time he strikes out in T-ball. Yeah. But I'm very attentive to you, baby. Did I not send your sister a birthday card? A week (laughs) early, I might add. Okay? Yeah. You know, in both cases, the people who are being treated well just love you. Like, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, he treats our children terribly, but, I mean, look at what he bought me. (laughs) Yeah. Uh. (laughs) Yeah. Like yeah, there's a there's only one spoke in a tire, you know. If you just get one of them working, the thing works fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I want credit for fifty percent. Okay, it's it's failing in school, but in life, if you can just do half of the things, okay, that's that. Counts. You know, I might have been a horrible husband to the mother of my children, but I was a damn good father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might have made I might make your mother cry four out of every five days, but I'm good to you, buddy. Look, I'm really good at shielding how awful I am from my kids, and don't you dare <laughs> unveil how terrible I am, you bitch. Okay? Cause these kids love me, alright? They're easy to trick at this age. And you better allow me to keep tricking them. Otherwise, you're just as and bad. And they don't love you. I made sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the idea of, like, maybe the dad gets caught playing catch. Oh, son. Dad, what the fuck? Oh, this isn't... I, I, <laughs> yeah, he's, like, he's cheating on his son. Yeah. I, he just, he didn't have anybody else. And I yeah, was, exactly. I was walking, I was just walking in the park. That doesn't mean you play catch with no, him, yeah. dad. You're, I, you're, yeah. He had the gloves and the ball. I didn't, I, I wasn't, I was That's I'm, a really, I've been, that's a really I've funny drinking. angle. Like dudes will cheat on their wives, but they never cheat on their kids. You, know? you don't understand, son. <laughs> yeah. I was throwing the ball at him. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hurt him. <laughs> they just like show up to Chuck E. Cheese and you're like they get like like throwing a birthday party for another kid. He's just like really involved in it. <laughs> oh, oh, son, what Dad, what are you doing? Oh, this is oh, this is uh this is Davy. He uh thanks for throwing me this party, Mr. Richards. <laughs> shut up, shut up. He God. means nothing to me, I promise. Didn't didn't I come to your birthday party with my younger, hotter girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah just the, the, just the idea of yeah they don't they never cheat on the kids with other yeah. kids like they're not like neglecting their daughter to go like teach a different five-year-old how to read yeah. you know there's never Dude, any except for i kind of have seen it <laughs> at least <laughs> With like a second family, like, like or once what? or twice, where it's just like, oh, he's the son I never had. It's like you, you have a son. Like, <laughs> I'm, th- I'm thinking of one in particular right, yeah. where, like, it was just like, dang man, like, you, you know, like, like yeah. my dad is really good. Uh, he just gets along with my buddy John, and it's like it's cool. 
but like mm. I'm that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like yeah, <laughs> like like truly like well, why don't you do that for your own kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Mike. Oh, that's funny. Maybe go in the end like ah, my kids just don't get me. Yeah, really, Mr. Wilt? They're like playing catch. Nah, they just don't, like, I show up and they're just needy. Not like you, Jimmy, you know. You brought the ball. Like, you ask me how I'm doing. They don't ask me how I'm doing. It's just take, take, take. You actually win ball games. It's just different. (laughs) That's what I was going to say. I've seen it when I was growing up with, like, the Little League dad whose kid sucked. And then the Little League dad Mm -hmm. would, like, not play his own kid. Which, I mean, I give him credit for that. Oh, but okay, also, angle, he would, like, yeah. buddy up to, like, the good athletes. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's fucked up. Hey, what are you doing for Christmas, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of presents I don't want to give to someone else. Hey, Hal, is that your son? Well, I mean, he's basically <laughs> my son. Like, maybe not biologically, <laughs> but I son? work with him for hours on end on the weekend to get is that your son i wish (laughs) no all i got is this thing right here (laughs) yeah if you look he's over there crying in the car what a what a baby you know he's never gonna make varsity (laughs) yeah i just don't understand could i doesn't do all this stuff i did (laughs) 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 i mean he's part me right like what the hell I have a I have a friend who uh, it, he does it all the time where he's like he's we're hanging out with uh, my son and and he'll go like well I didn't do that <laughs> when I was a kid you know yeah like like yeah he doesn't like cheese curds <sighs> I ate everything when I was a kid yeah I guess I guess you guys might be like different people I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I'm always just like yeah that's yeah, weird weird huh Whoa. he doesn't say that around your kid right. He doesn't oh, like dude, dude, you, you, you'd be surprised. My God. I actually have a, I have a problem. I have a problem with this dude right now <laughs> because he, yeah, you know, he does. That's... What? I ate everything when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you're also sort of like cerebral, cerebrally fucking, you know, different. Yeah. Yeah. Then say my smart kid. <laughs> uh <laughs> some people are just so fucking unaware man it's crazy not and i mean i think we all are in a lot of ways but that's a yeah. that's a that's a pretty extreme right there because <clears throat> anytime there's a kid around me i'm pretty like you know like, yeah. they're, they're they're uh gonna they're listening right. they're listening to what you're saying they might seem not uh, seem like i mean it, people don't have kids when people don't have kids or they're you know i don't know they they just like get yeah, there are some people that just like it, it, the the they'll have a level of derision towards towards the baby child. <laughs> that yeah. You're like, dude, what the hell? Like, uh... yeah. well, and it also seems like for that archetype of like the dad that's having an affair, but like, well, I, I was a good dad. It's like, yeah, but you're also probably not the one like actually raising him. Like, you just come home play with him for 10 minutes give him a gift and like oh yeah he loves me like yeah because he doesn't fucking know any yeah. better like <laughs> you know I, I yeah i was a bad husband but i was a damn good father when uh saturday <laughs> july 4th <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. That's been another episode of the Comedy Mainline. Thanks for jumping on the phones with us and uh, checking out what our fellow comedians and whoever else calls in has to say. We really appreciate it. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Folks, make sure you check us out on Apple Podcasts. Give us a review um, and uh, write a comment or Whatever other options they have. Do, you can do it on Google Play, too, if you guys are listening on Google Play. It would really help us out a lot. We're getting a few people. A lot of you guys are doing it, and it's helping us out. So please do that. Also, check out the Patreon. We are getting more and more bonus stuff up there as we speak. Uh, it's www.patreon.com. Uh, Writer's Block Show. Check that out. And thanks again. Thanks again.